Okay, to continue. Real quick. I'm going to use up 25 minutes again. I would like to go back to bed. Ugh. I heard her mom get up. At least she was smart enough to not like, knock on the door or whatever. Continuation of my other 29 minute video, okay? This isn't going to be 29 minutes. So. Just giving you some insight into my path. I, I fell asleep with the lights on and didn't brush my teeth, wash my face, nothing. Um, and I had anxiety nightmares. Overflow, it's a dream I have had for a very long time. Overflowing toilets, and if you have to go to the bathroom, every no matter which stall you open, they're they're just awful. They're broken. They're whatever. And like I said, in, uh, in the other, I I used to every time I have that dream, I remember when I had it before and thinking it's real, and you know, but that didn't happen. It wouldn't. There's nowhere. I I feel so strongly that it has happened. only time, and we've all, no, we've all, but a lot of us have experienced this, we have to use porta potties when you're out at whatever, you know, out of outdoor cons or whatever, and they're disgusting and you have to hover over them. But, but no, this is different. These are public bathrooms that every stall, when you open it up, is disgusting and if you have to go, you have to go and you just have to, and in my dream it seems so real. One of my viewers, do you dream in color? Oh, damn straight, I dream in color. My dreams are so fucking realistic that I don't know what's happened in dreams and what's happened in real life a lot of the time. I really don't. I really don't. I can have dreams where it's the exact house. A lot of times it isn't, but where you, you know, you're in the exact place that you went to bed in, you know, and There are definitely things that I don't know if they have happened in real life or if I just read them without question. Without question. I just read to you in another video, read stuff that I wrote to my dad but never gave to him, and read a note that I most definitely you know, gave to Donald. But Remember, my dad was an abuser and Tom was an abuser. But I only had to put up with my dad's abuse for four years of high school hell. But I was also putting up with severe self-hatred, self-loathing, self-esteem of the fucking flea. Fleas have special fleas. If they were manifested into human beings, fleas would probably have very high. and finding blood, blood host wherever they want, you know, an abundance of blood host. But anyway, I don't know where someone came up self-esteem of a flea. Does it mean because fleas are so tiny that that's, man, if that represents your self-esteem, but whatever. Four years. With Donald, it was how many years? Pretty much a total of 12. Eleven. Eleven. Just meant a few of them were not as his girlfriend. That's all. Whatever. I really don't know how women particularly, not that it can't happen to men, but how they ever They've been through so, so, so much in this life. And me, even up until this very day, I mean, how do you date? How do you do any of that? Seriously, unless you wind up, people who've been abused, more often than not, wind up with abusers again, see? And they're even, 
when I stayed at that, emer that emergency domestic violence shelter, my case manager told me she taught a class, and the guys would come up to her and say, I could, because she was in a former, you know, she was a, she had been abused, right? So she, she knew what, what she was talking about. She was like, I, he came up to her and was like, I could spot one of you a mile away. Okay. He was sarcastic with her, because they, he, they know how to spot people. You guys already know I have diarrhea of the mouth. I, I blab stuff. I, you know, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. I just want to read this, finish, and then go back to bed, hopefully. The inspector is coming today, so fun. all staff at name of that hospital to whom it may concern now that my mother's co-health care proxy Monty's brother, has apparently joined forces with his sister name is sister when he was without question 100% oh whom he was 100%, without question, 100% against prior to my mother being sucked into your facility. I need, my, my cousin actually is the one who told me about this. She's the one who had me writing to these people constantly, typing, of course. No handwritten, typing it and faxing it over and, or sending certified. Depending on how quickly to get there, in the end it was all for whatever. Bullshit. Like so much of it is all, everything. These past six shows has just been never-ending bullshit. I need for all of you at Name of Hospital who have made aware of something very important that my attorney told me yesterday. Because remember, I was also seeing free attorneys and whatnot. In instances where two healthcare proxies, this is true, but what is also true, and my cousin didn't realize, because perhaps we're in the state she lives in, this isn't true. You can't have two healthcare proxies in Massachusetts. In instances where two healthcare proxies have opposing opinions in regards to what is in the best interest of the person, those co healthcare proxies have equal decision making power over over. Okay. So if there are opposing opinions in regards to what is in the best interest of the person, those co healthcare proxies have equal decision making power over. If you want to use propagation over which those co health care proxies have equal decision making power. And that's just to end with an over, you know, preposition, whatever. Um, it will be up to a judge to decide. And I'm fairly certain that any judge presented with all the facts, including an unbelievable amount of written proof that I have in my possession. Okay. All the facts that prior to being sectioned into your facility back in October 2014. My mother wanted absolutely nothing to do with her sister, name of sister, whom both my mother and I tried to get a restraining order against. And blah, blah, blah. This continues, but anyway. That's all the stuff I found when I'm searching through my stuff to find. Important papers, more important than this stuff I've been reading to you. Hey, stumble across shit, right? If you're me. And if you're me, you still have notes you passed to your friends in grade school. I kid you not. out on the couch. Didn't feel like doing anything. Oh, if you watched the other video, now can you maybe understand why I'm so leery of, I mean, I did what I was suggested, strongly suggested by my dental hygienist, you need to get a water pack, okay? Your gums are getting much worse. Yeah. 
She understood that I'd been in survival mode. I imagine he doesn't want to be responsible because then he feels like he has to buy me another. Said, I'd rather be alone the rest of my fucking life. It's probably going to happen anyway. And to ever be with any man, even remotely like him, remotely like Donald, even the slightest little bit like him. You don't have to be an actual abuser to be like Donald in other ways. He was so fucking cheap. Oh my God. You can be frugal. You can be whatever and watch him without being fucking like him. And as a long time waitress, including I temporarily waitressed in high school, I mean at college, college. Um, I remember I put myself through college grants, loans, had great grades. I didn't have anybody. I didn't get a penny from anybody except the government. I'm getting grants and loans, so I'm having good grades. And I went to state school, obviously. I didn't go to some high and mighty, whatever. Prestigious university. Oh yes, what you're saying, I cannot stand people who are really, really, like, who don't tip or, but, or who just are disgustingly cheap when it comes to tipping. But then again, there are people who just don't believe in tipping. That's another story. My throat choked me to death. I, I think I have a phobia about this. But now I lost it anyway. You know, I might have put it up there. I put up there. After I could have found my mom's checkbooks. I didn't find them. I found a loose checkbook, thankfully. Because it, it would take a week to get checks. And my mom says, well, couldn't we get them for the bank? Yeah, you can. They're more expensive, but they still don't get them instantly. They still mail them out. It's the same thing as Walmart, except five times more expensive. Literally, five times more expensive. No, I had to find the checks. But that water pick, I'm, I'm excited by the idea of it. I know me, and I know I cannot do it before I go to bed. I have got to do it when I'm wide awake, like in the afternoon, which is better than nothing. There's no way I'll do it before I go to bed. When I want to sleep, I just refuse to do anything. I just will crash and not care and not get ready for bed. just won't care about anything but sleeping. That's probably because I'm exhausted all the time, you know. Emotionally and physically exhausted all the time. That brings it all back, what I read to you in that other video, part one. And I wrote it in there. It could have gone down my throat. He dropped it on the floor. He broke it. I never even got to use it. Now, this was way back when, whatever it cost, doesn't matter. It was an electric toothbrush. Donald's not going to tell me that he dropped it, because then he'd be responsible. Even his mom would agree, you need to buy her a new one. 
they didn't. I think I have a phobia about using those. And like I said, I just read that and it brings it all back to me. But I remember anyway. That would, it would make sense for me to have a phobia. I do get nervous. For my dentist, I bought new ones of the Sensodyne, I think. I bought, they were having a, you could get a good price, cheaper than in the stores. I bought one for my mom, one for me, because hers was cute. She was used and she had no problem. But hers got all whatever. And um, I bought more of an industrial store. And we never used them. That's because, just like a lot of things we never do or never use or ever, you know, her pressure cookers, whatever, that it's because she winds up in hospitals and then, you know. But this thing, I can't retard it if it's no good, and I'm afraid of it. And why'd you buy it? Because I'm doing the right thing when I'm, do I'm dutifully following my hygienist instructions, that's why her recommendation that she'd been giving for quite some time to me. I was supposed to do the mouth guard thing too. Remember I grind my teeth and that got worse. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. No. When you're in survival mode, you're in survival mode. They said it's a miracle I'm still breathing. Even though people in her life who just, whatever. I know. And Selena and Joe know. That lithium toxicity thing from a few years ago. The way my mom is so terrified of hospitals. And, and it it seemed to her she was getting worse. She would have not got herself. She could have gone to kidney failure and died if I wasn't here. And vigilant and eagle-eyed. And noticing something wasn't right. And thinking to myself, there's no fucking way in hell this is how my mom's going to be. This is her baseline on this fucking lithium. You've got to fucking be kidding me. This cannot be true. And lo and behold, I was right. My mother was so lithium toxic that, you know, it could have been any day now. And, and I kept, she's taking the drug and getting worse and worse. Had she been alone, it would have been too late for her probably. None of that matters in this life, because in this life, particularly in her world, all that ever, 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 ever matters is money. And that is why I have a notebook of my mom's, where she wrote in her, and she wrote it, heartbreaking. My family hates my daughter because I gave my daughter money. I rest my case.